Hello, it is summer in Arizona and that means time for monsoon storms, flash floods, heavy rains, high winds and dust storms, and even occasional tornadoes can all be dangerous for Arizona residents. Joining us now is Glendale Fire Chief Terry Garrison. Thank you. And Chief, what do you suggest that people do before the storm happens? Be prepared. That's the key is be prepared. We do have these storms every year and the best thing you could do is you can Get with your family, create a plan where you can meet as a family, what items you're going to need before a storm. Make sure that you're able to gather up your entire family and please don't forget your pets because they're an important part of your family. So the key is to be prepared and plan ahead. And part of that plan can also be a ready kit. Uh, what do you suggest with that? So a ready kit, it's a great little kit that I think every family should have. I know my wife and I have this kit. And it's a prepared kit that you would put your essentials in, such as a flashlight, some extra batteries, some water. If you have any special medications, you want to be able to get those out of the refrigerator, put them in that kit. You want to be able to have some gloves in there in case you've got mm -hmm. to turn off the utilities. So just a kit that really will work for your family to make sure that you can get out and be safe. And no candles. No candles, and it's important that we remind people not to use candles mm -hmm. during a storm because the wind does blow, the candles do get knocked over, you're moving around in the dark, you're really not used to that. And we've had some serious house fires and apartment fires that have been caused by candles. And in a monsoon storm, the lightning can be so spectacular, but it can also be dangerous. Lightning is extremely dangerous and we've had we've had instances in the city of Glendale where lightning has caused fires and it's also injured our citizens. So what we say is that watch lightning from a distance as it starts to move over your community, move away from windows, move away from doors, stay out of swimming pools, stay away, stay out of the bathtub and the shower because those actually uh, conduct energy and you can get seriously hurt. In Glendale, we're so fortunate because we have a program in place to help homeowners if they need sandbags to help stop the flooding. What information do you have about that? You know, it's great that our community has come together and our city is great because we really are here to support the citizens, mm -hmm. our entire city. And, and one of the things we know is that we have certain neighborhoods that do flood. And if we can get them to pick up sand in advance, if we can get the citizens to pick up sand in advance, just show up at one of the three locations, take a shovel, we'll give you the sand, we'll give you the sandbag. We won't do the shoveling for you because we've got <laughs> other things to do, but we'll certainly uh, support you the best we can. And one way that we do help citizens is we keep them safe because we have an emergency operations center and a lot is going on there during a severe storm. So can you give us insight into that? Yeah, so as a storm moves over our city, uh, most of us are at home, but a group of employees from our city actually go to the Emergency Operations Center and we track the storm, we see where that's moving, and we kind of get advanced and get ahead of that storm and make sure that we're prepared to support our citizens during a storm. We have the police department, the fire department, the public works. Um, we all kind of come together as a team and really help support our citizens. Chief Garrison from the Glendale Fire Department, thank you so much for joining us and for all that you do and all that your staff does as well. Thank you. You are welcome. And all of this information is available on the Monsoon page on the city website, glendaleaz.com.